if you're a so-called black man, a so-called Mexican man, a so-called native Indian, or any of these 12 on this hip, right. you're not supposed to be celebrating Mother's Day. Mother's Day is the sign and the patriotism and the what? Praising of ISIS. That's right. ISIS is a wicked and evil woman. They call her the God of Heaven. But Mother's Day, you should love your mother every day. It shouldn't be no one day out of the year that you love your mother. You should love your mother every day. That's right. And we're going to bring some scriptures out to let you know that this Mother's Day thing, it is an abomination and it is a pagan holiday. We got Sister Hanaya, she gonna come and read today, that's right. She gonna come out here and read today because we stand bold for the Most High God and we know that he gonna protect us, male and female. Read, Sister. Matthew, yeah. Read, Sister. Matthew chapter 15, verse 3. Read what the Bible say. But he answered and said unto them, What did he say, sister? Why do ye transgress the commandment of Yahweh? Why do you transgress the commandments of God? By your traditions. By your what? Your traditions. By your traditions. See? He asked, so Why do you want to go against God's law by the tradition that you've been taught? That's right. That's not your tradition. That's the white man's tradition. That's all the other 17 nations which God called heathens and dogs. That's, right. That's, That's what right. they're supposed to be doing. Am I right, right, brothers and sisters? That's right. Read, sister. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Read. But ye have forsaken the first love. Read. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Lest any man do what? Spoil you. Uh-huh. Through philosophy. Through what? Philosophy. Uh-huh. And vain deceit. And what? Dang to see after the tradition of men. Don't go after the tradition of man. After the rudiments of the world. After the rudiments of the world. And not after Hamakia. And not after God. That's right. You're doing everything against God. God say don't do those things. Don't be persuaded by a docile, vain doctrine that is going to cause you to be in sin. That's what the Bible say. That's right. We go by what the Bible say. We don't go by what the white man say we should be doing today. We go by what the Bible say. That's right. And people hate us for coming That's out here right. saying what scriptures say because they don't hear it in the church. Read, sister. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Read. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people... Draw near me. For as much as these people go to church and say I love God and all that junk. With their mouth. They honor me with their mouth. They and, praise me with their mouth. Hmm? And with their lips. Uh-huh. To honor me. But have removed their heart far from me. They move their heart far from God. They don't care about God. They don't care about nothing that he say. That's right. They just want to continue to have fun. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. And everything that they have been taught has been taught by the precept of men. Not by the precept of God, but by the precept of men. That's why they're going to hell. Look at them over there right now. They're over there buying and selling on God's Sabbath day. That's right. That's what they're doing. He said that shouldn't be today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. That's We're right. supposed to be praising God. Not out there over there spending our money with Esau. Not over there doing all these vain things that God disapproves of. Well. That's what the Bible say. Read, sister. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 16. Read. As for the word that thou hast spoken uh -huh. unto us. Unto who? Unto us. Unto the Israelites and nobody else. In the name of the Lord. In the name of who? The Lord. No, the preacher. The Lord. Read. We will not hearken unto thee. See, that's what you're telling God right now, that you will not hearken to him, that you will not listen to him. 17. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing going forth out. We're going to do whatever we say we're going to do. We ain't going to obey you, God. We ain't thinking about you, God. We're going to do what we want to do. Read. Of our own mouth. 
of their what? Of our own mouth. We to burn incense. To do what? Burn incense. To who? Unto the queen of heaven. Unto the queen of heaven. That's Don't ISIS. Lie. The queen of heaven is ISIS. You serving a pagan holiday. This is not your day. So-called black man, so-called Mexican man, so-called native Indian. Mother's Day is not your day. It is the white man's holiday. It is Esau's holiday. It is the pagan holiday. The Bible speaks of. Read. And to pour out drink offerings. They gonna get drunk. Unto her. Unto their mothers. As we have done. We and our fathers are kings. We the fathers are what? Our kings. We are the kings. And our princes. And our ladies are princesses, not no dead go queen. That's right. And the cities of Judah. And the cities of who? Judah. No America. Judah. No Russia. Judah. No Iraq. Judah. The cities of Judah. That's right. And in the streets of Jerusalem. And in the streets of America. Jerusalem. And in the streets of Jerusalem. But then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil. See, they don't see no evil. They don't see the evil that they're doing. That's right. But just because God ain't punishing you right now, don't mean that you're not going to get punished. Because it's just like a report card. That's right. When the grades come in and you fall, you're going to the lake of fire. That's where you're going. You're going to the same place as your oppressor. That's right. Read, sister. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 4. Read. Turn ye not unto idols. Turn away from idols, the cross, the stone, all those things that you're doing today, that you're going to be doing tomorrow. Turn away from those idols. Nor make to yourself uh -huh. molten gods. All those molten gods. I am the Lord, your Yahweh. Because I am the Lord, I'm your God. That's right. Your mama ain't your That's God. Right. I'm your God. Honor me, not your mama. You should be giving respect to your mama every day. That's it right. shouldn't have to be a one day out of the year that you want to pay respect to your mother. You should have respect for your mother every day. That's right. Or Israelite do that. But the pagan people don't because they don't even love each other. That's right. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4. Read, sister. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. The Bible says you should not make unto yourself any graven images. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Anything that is in heaven you should not make a likeness to it here on earth. Or that is in the earth beneath. Mm -hmm. Or that is in the water under the earth. Nowhere. Thou shalt not bow thyself unto them. You should not bow yourself down to anything that if it's not God. Nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy Yahweh, am a jealous Yahweh. Because if you do those things, I am the Lord your God. I am a jealous God. That's right. Visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children of the third and fourth generation. Uh-huh. Of them that hate me. Of them that hate me. Now y'all hate God because y'all don't obey God. Y'all hate God. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me. Uh-huh. And keep my commandments. No, the commandments are done away with. And keep my commandments. The preachers say the commandments are done away with. And keep my commandments. If you love him, you will keep his commandments. That's what he's saying. But the church tells you that the commandments are done away with. That is a lie. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy Yahweh in vain. You should not take God's name in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. See, everything that you do, God ain't going to hold you guiltless. God going to destroy you. You will die this death and you will die a second death of judgment as well. That's right. Remember the Sabbath day. What did the Bible say? Remember the Sabbath day. No, it's thrown away. Remember the Sabbath day. What did the Bible say? Remember the Sabbath day. The Bible say remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. To separate it. To sanctify it. To keep it holy. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. How many days? Six days. No, I 
I thought it was seven days. Six days. Three. Thou shalt labor and to do all thy work. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But on the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy Yahweh. Read on, sister. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, uh -huh. nor thy daughter, nor thy maid slave, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger. Read, sister. That is within thy gate. Read on. But in six days. How many days? Six days. No, the church says seven days. Six days. Read. The Lord made heaven and earth. He did what? Made heaven and earth. In six days he made heaven and earth. The sea and all that in it is and rested on the seventh day. He's supposed to be rested on what day? The seventh day. What is the day? The seventh day. He's supposed to be resting on today because today is the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day. He blessed this day. And hallowed it. And set it apart and kept it holy. That's what he did. But y'all violating God just to serve your mama tomorrow. And God going to kill you and destroy you because he's a jealous God. And he said you should put nothing in nobody before me. That's right. John chapter 14 verse 15. Read what the Bible says, sister. Did he love me? What did the Bible say? Did he love me? What did it say? Did he love me? The Bible say, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. What did the Bible say? Keep my commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Not going over there celebrate tomorrow, no Mother's Day. In the Bible, they say that that's a pagan holiday. But you don't read the Bible. You let the preacher pick out scriptures to you. That's why you go into hell. That's right. And mama go into hell too because if she was keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, she wouldn't be expecting for her children to do those things. That's right. Read. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 20. Read, sister. Woe unto them that call evil good. Woe unto them that call Mother's Day good. And good evil. And the Sabbath day evil. That put darkness for light. That put darkness, that put sin for the truth. And light for darkness. And light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet. That put what? For bitter for sweet. That put what? Put bitter for sweet. That put bitter for sweet. And sweet for bitter. And sweet for bitter. That's what the Bible says. Woe unto them that call evil good. You call in Mother's Day good, God say woe unto you that call evil good. Because Mother's Day is the celebration of Isis. And Isis is called the Queen of Heaven. She is a wicked and pagan principle. You better get it right, brothers and sisters. That's right. Because God is going to punish you. Long as you got breath and blood flowing through your veins. You better turn back to the Most High God immediately. That's right. Don't waver. You better come back to Him as soon as you possibly can. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 18. Read what the Bible say. The children gather wood. The children do what? Gather wood. Right. See the children going out there to get wood. They going to Walmart. They getting all this stuff. And the father kindled the fire. And the father gonna start a fire to get ready to cook on the grill. And the women knead their dough. And the women is putting that dough together to make them cakes. To make cakes. To, to make what? To make cakes. To make what? To make cakes. To make cakes to who? To the queen of heaven. To the queen of heaven. That's Isis. And to pour out drink offerings. And they gonna get drunk too. Unto other gods. Unto other gods. They're going to be praising another god. Because right. when you praise your mama, you praising another god. Because every day is the day of the Lord. That's right. You should love your mother anyway. That's right. You should love your mother every day. She don't get no special day. Only God have a special day. That they may provoke me. They have made God angry. To anger. They have made God angry That's right. by celebrating and praising your mama and not God. 
You don't never put anything or anybody before God. You don't uh, section off no special day for your mama. Why would you section off a special day for your mama anyway? Ain't she the same lady that Esau, the so-called white man, persuaded to, to start dealing with another doctor? And she went and took it back to who? Adam? That's right. God can't trust her. That's why you shouldn't be celebrating her. Judges chapter 3 verse 7. Read what the Bible says, sister. And the children of Israel. Wait a minute. What did the Bible say? And the children of Israel. No, the children of America. Israel. No, the children of Arabs. Israel. No, the children of those stinking Russians. Israel. No, the children of them stinking Africans. Israel. You say the children of Israel. Did evil in the sight of the Lord. They did evil in the sight of the Lord. Celebrating Mother's Day, that's evil in the sight of the Lord. And forget the Lord their God. And forgot all about God. And serve Balaam. And serve Baal. And the grove. And the grove. They don't celebrate God. They celebrate their mama. They celebrate their father. That's right. They celebrate Thanksgiving. They celebrate the 4th of July. They celebrate Christmas. But they don't want to serve God. They created the one that made them. That's right. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Read what the Bible says, sister. Her priests have violated my law. The Bible says you jive no good preachers have violated my law. And have profaned my holy things. And have profaned my holy things. And you profane my holy day. They have not select. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. They have put no difference than what is holy and what is evil. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and clean. They have shown no difference between the unclean and clean because what's going to happen? Tomorrow you probably going to take your mama over there to Red Lobster. And you're going to eat some shrimp. You're going to eat some crab. You're going to eat some oysters. You're going to eat some catfish. And all those things are an abomination unto the Lord thy God, right. and Israel should not eat them. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Because you have hid your eyes from God's seventh day. You don't honor right. God's seventh day. And I am profane among them. And he is profane among them. He is forgotten. He is not respected. Only mama is respected. That's right. And mama going straight to hell. That's where your mama going. She going straight to hell right along with you. Because you are violating God's days. You are disrespecting God. That's right. And God is a jealous God and he is very angry. Joshua chapter 24 verse 23. Read sister. Now therefore. What? Now therefore. Put away, said he, the strange God. The Bible says, put away the strange God. The God of Isis is a strange That's God. Right. She is the representation of Mother's Day, Isis, the strange God. And God said, put away those strange gods. Which are among you. Which are what? Among you. Which are among you. And incline your heart. And make your ears. Until the Lord. Until who? Until the Lord. Until Walmart. Until the Lord. Until Red Lobster. Until the Lord. Until Marie Calendar. Until the Lord. Until the Lord. Yahweh of Israel. The God of Israel. Not the God of nobody else. Not the God of Ishmael. That's right. Not the God of the Mobites. Not the God of the Ammonites. Not the God of the Jobusites. Not the God of anybody but Israel. The God of Israel. That's what the Bible say. Better get it right. You're an Israelite. That's right. Better turn from your wicked ways. 
and you better come back to the Most High God while you got an opportunity. That's right. Because you don't know what day or hour that God is coming back, but you better make sure that you ready when he come back. That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 20. Read, sister. Thou shalt fear the Lord. Thou shalt what? Fear the Lord. Thou shalt what? Fear the Lord. Thou shalt fear the Lord. Thy Yahweh. Thy God. Him shalt thou serve. Him shall you serve. And to him shalt thou cleave. And him till you please. No, you ain't supposed to be serving your mama. It say serve God and cleave to him. That's right. And swear by his name. And swear by his name. Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's right. That's what the Bible say. Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 16. Read, sister. Take heed to yourselves. Do what? Take heed to yourself. The Bible say, take heed to yourself. That your heart be not deceived. That your heart, that your mind be not deceived like it is today. And ye turn aside and serve other gods. And ye turn aside and you start serving other gods. And worship them. And worship them. That's what the Bible say. Right. You serving the wrong God. You ain't supposed to be serving no pagan God. That's why you still on the bottom. And you gonna be broke. You gonna be broke Monday morning. Right. You got your little welfare checks. You got your food stamp. You ain't gonna put no food in the house. You gonna go out and do all that stuff for one day. Right. And then Monday you gonna be broke. And you ain't gonna be able to pay your PG&E bill. You ain't going to be able to pay your cell phone bill. You ain't going to be able to do nothing because you putting the wrong person in charge and not God. Matthew chapter 5 verse 19. Read what the Bible says, sister. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. See, when you break least one of these commandments that God said you shouldn't be doing, if you break one of them, and shall teach men so. And you teaching other people that it's okay to That's celebrate right. Mother's Day. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You go go straight to the lake of fire. That's right. For telling people that they can celebrate Mother's Day. And God say you can't. That's right. But whosoever shall do and teach them. We teaching you the truth. We teaching you that you shouldn't be celebrating these pagan holidays. That's right. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And long as we get the blood off our hand, we gonna make it to the kingdom. That's right. That's what the Bible say. Eleven fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Read what the Bible say. Luke chapter eleven, verse twenty-seven. Read what the Bible say, sister. And it came to pass. What came to pass? As he spake these things, uh -huh. a certain woman of the company lifted, lifted up her voice. What did she say? And said unto him, uh -huh. Blessed is the womb that bear thee. The every time I bless it, that, see, that's what the Catholic Church believes in. They believe in blessed the womb that had them. They believe in Mary. And the path which thou hast sucked. Uh-huh, that's what they were believing, them pagan people. They were believing Mary, but what did God say? But he said, Yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of Yahweh. Blessed are they that hear the word of God. And keep it. And keep it. Blessed are they that hear the word of God. Not the word of Mary, not the word of Mama. But blessed are they that hear the word of God right. and do what, brother and sister? And, and keep it. it. And keep it. That's what the Bible says. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Read, sister. Beware, let any man spoil you. Let any man what? Spoil oh, you. Let any man tell you lies. Through philosophy, through a dumb down philosophy, and vain deceit, and all the deceit that they've been doing all their life against you, after the traditions of men, after the tradition of the white man, 
the rudiments of the world. And after the ways of the world. And not after Habakkia. And not after God. That's right. God said you shouldn't keep Mother's Day. But what you doing? You going over there to keep Mother's Day when God told you you shouldn't be doing it. That's right. But you going over there and you celebrating Mother's Day when the Bible specifically tells you that you shouldn't be doing it. And now you done made God angry. And he going to destroy you. That's right. That's right. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Read, sister. Know ye not that the unrighteous uh -huh. shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. That the who? Unrighteous. No, they going to get a chance. All they got to do is say, God, forgive me. Unrighteous. The unrighteous is not going to be able to what? Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, the righteous are not going to be able to inherit the kingdom of God. You out here serving all these pagan holidays. Mother's Day. God is going to kill you and your woman. That's right. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators. Neither who? Fornicators. Uh-huh. Nor idolaters, no adulterers, no sister, no abandonment, no abusers of themselves, Read. with mankind, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no devils, no extra extortioners, uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. You ain't gonna be able to inherit the kingdom of God because you're going broke right now today trying to buy something for your evil, wicked-ass mama. That's right. That's what's happening. You going broke today, you ain't gonna even be able to feed your kid. Cause you going out there to be able to go and buy something to celebrate your mama. When you should love your mama every day. That's right. Read. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 23. Read, sister. Because ye have burned incense. Because they have been what? Burned incense. Because they have burned incense. And because ye have sinned against the Lord. And you have did what? Sinned against the Lord. You have did what? Sinned against the Lord. Because you have sinned against the Lord. And have not walked in his law. And have not walked in his ways, his law, statutes, and commandments. Nor in his statutes. Nor in anything that he required of you. Nor in his testimonies. Nor in what? These scriptures, this Bible, the testimonies, read. Therefore, this evil is happened unto you. That's why you continue to be in the situation that you're in now. First, last high, first five. One parent household. As at this day. Even at this day. Right. Even at this day right here. We're going to cap it off about what we should be doing. How the Israelites is supposed to be serving our God. Not everybody's God. That's right. But our God. And nobody else's. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Read sister. And now Israel. There's a question that's being asked about to, uh, to you Israel. What doeth the Lord thy God? Require of thee. It's a what does God require of you? There are requirements. Once you know you are an Israelite, there are requirements. But to fear the Lord. To obey God. Thy To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. And to love him. And to do what? And to love him. And to do what? And to love him. And to love him. And to serve 